And we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you a new way to create outlines. I think it's way easier. I believe they've introduced that in version 3.0 because I wasn't aware of that method before 3.0 came out. So if you can't find that option, check your GIMP version right here under about. It should at least be 3.0 and then you should be able to find it. If your version is below 3.0, then you can update it right here. Just click on the link and you will be referred to the newest version. Once you've got that, activate the text tool. If you can't find that, go to tool, text, T is the short key for it. You have the usual on canvas editor right here to adjust it. Let me position that, activate the text tool again, left click, then control A to select it all. So when I change the style, everything is adjusted. Once that is done, go to your two options right here. If you can't see them, Go to Windows, Document Dialogs, Two Options. You can see I can adjust the entire text like this. Here's the fill color. And right below that color swatch, you will find a drop down now for style. And here you have three options, filled, outlined, and outlined and filled. You want to choose the third one, but outlined and outlined and filled give you the same options. Now to adjust an outline. So we have a new color swatch for solid color. You could also give it a pattern. Let me just make that black. The thickness is now determined right here via line width. And you can also give that different dash styles right here under the presets drop down. You can make that dotted or dashed. The default should be line. One more thing to adjust might be the join style. Just watch the letter N right here. Miter is usually what you want, but you can make that round and also beveled. So it is way easier than the previous method that I've shown you in my game playlist. And the good news is this is adjustable, so you can always go back, change the colors. And you can even change the text. All that you have to do is to activate the text tool, left click on it, press Ctrl A, and then you can, for example, change that from outline to, I don't know, let's say adjust, and it will inherit this style. So it will automatically get an outline with the line width that you've set. So this is a huge improvement. So forget about the earlier method that I've shown you. This one's way easier, way quicker, way better. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.